hello friends so today we are going to see how we can use the get hyphen child item command on the powershell it is not a common command that everybody uses in their regular life but it is i found that it is a very useful command if you want to search something on your computer and even you can use this command to search something on the remote computer also so now if we take a study case like if you want to search any files on the remote computer it is very difficult right to log into the remote computer then search for the files through the windows explorer and then get the result but what if we are sitting on the one computer and getting the result for multiple computer yeah it's possible so today we are going to see that how we can use that command so in the front of the screen you can see that we have some script here which will fetch the file from the remote computer and it will show the result now uh, we are going to see the use cases where we can use this command uh, to get some result okay so let me explain the command to you here as usual we have the server list where we have some computer name okay let me open that okay so we have three computer here in the notepad file server one two three and you can see here one two and three okay so this is the three computer which we are going to run the script okay i'm let me exit okay again uh, we have the for each loop here and in the servers it is going to run the script so we have the invoke hyphen command hyphen computer name and we are running the command on this computer on the single single computer from this list and then we have the actual command get hyphen child item and then we have a path okay now here you can include as many as path you want okay you just have to give the double quote and then comma after each path and then you have to add the parameter hyphen recurse and then we are we have added the pipe here to select the object uh, with the expand properties and we want only the version info into that okay so you can add as many as filter you want according to your need but i'm going to explain here version info okay so uh, we have added here uh, the uh, uh, parameter like result dollar so it's array uh, so it is going to save all the result into the result array and then uh, with that we are again going to create a new array here dollar final and uh, with that we are going to select the file name uh, the file version and the ps computer name into that okay so we are going to exclude property run space id because whenever we are running this command it is uh, giving up, uh, giving us some extra column run space id that we don't want and then we have again added the pipe here uh, format table hyphen auto space hyphen wrap okay so it will give a, give us the uh, proper format whenever we will have the output and here then we are showing the final result here now this final result you can just also uh, export to the out file like we have to um, we can export that with the command out file and then the file name okay so let's run this now what we are going to do here okay now uh, on the remote computer in the c drive there is a new folder and there are some exe file now you can modify this you can enter here pdf if you want or if you want to search excel file you can just do that or if you want nothing like you want uh, to show the everything what is there in that folder you can also do that okay so we are going to search the exe file here let me show you here in the c drive okay in a new folder uh, there are some exe file you can see application okay then we have another uh, the second computer in the new folder see there are some application and here also in the third computer i have kept same set of files so i don't have to worry about uh, uh, copying the multiple file now again we have another path e drive okay now here what we have given here we have given the new folder why because in the c drive there are so many exe files so i don't want to get a result for everything like windows system 32 there are so many exe files right which belongs to the windows operating system so that is the reason i have given this. but here in the e drive i have one folder here okay new folder but i didn't specify that I just given the e drive and then colon okay so uh, I have used this recurse command to just check the file into the subdirectory also okay if you don't give this recurse command it will try to only look the file into the e drive okay it will not look into the folder subdirectory 
okay so e drive also we have a, a folder and also there is one some exe file okay let me show you here also so every computer in the c drive new folder and the e drive there is a again new folder and we want to search the file now if i run this command okay see it will give us the computer name with the proper table okay you can see that and even you get a computer name like from which computer it have uh, got the results now you can see that here in the c drive there are some file right see and it is from the server one then in the e drive there are some files and it is from server one now again the same result from server two and the server three so according to this you can search a file on the remote computer and the use cases can be suppose you identified some uh, some files like the virus file or something else like you want to search on the whole computer you can do that you just have to remove this uh, folder here and you just have to give this the file name now if you want to search with the file name you can do that okay let me show you that so here we have a second script here now what we are going to do here we are going to use a specific exe file to identify on the computer whether it is present there or not now suppose you want to search uh, whether that 7 zip and the adopt reader is installed on the remote computer or not okay so how you can do that so it is very basic right whenever you install the any software it goes into the one single folder so whenever you install the 7 zip whatever the version it is but it will have the single folder and inside that the subdirectory will be different yeah so uh, same for the adopt reader now adopt reader will have a one path but the uh, exe file may have a different version right and if you want to get that version how will you do that so what we are going to do here we have specified here the path okay the script is same for everything okay we just have changed the path here now let's understand how we can give the path here so here we have given the c drive program files 7 zip now i have specified here the 7 zip fm file manager.exe i have given the full path i can just reduce that also but i know that it is a 7 zip and it is directly installed on that folder so i have given this but here what we have did it i don't know whether uh, that adobe acrobat okay uh, it is like what it is called but i know the first character are somehow same for all the exe file so what i have done that i have given the first part then i have given the asterisk here okay asterisk means till this path it the file name will be same but after that i don't know what will be the file name so that is the reason i have given the asterisk okay so it will try to find the result over there now here what we have done okay let me show you that i didn't give a full path okay let me open this open the file name okay now you can see here now the path is like c drive program file 86 adobe adobe acrobat dc and then reader but here we have just given the path till adobe acrobat dc okay we haven't given the reader folder here you can see here okay so we haven't specified but still we have given the adobe uh, acrobat reader uh, asterisk then dot exe now we want to identify whether it is going to the reader folder and it is able to find this exe file okay which open the adobe acrobat reader okay let me open this file for you okay you can see here okay okay so let me minimize this and let me run this command again now so if i run this command it will try to get all the results from all the computer and it will show the result now you can see that okay you can see here we have a three computer one two and three from where it have faced the results now here we have a 7 zip file manager its version is 19 here 7 zip file manager its version is 19 and here on the third computer we have a 7 zip but the version is a 21 which is the latest one okay and here we have the uh, adobe acrobat reader file 21 version okay and here we didn't specify the reader but still it took that because we have given the recurse command which look the file into the subdirectory okay so you can use this file uh, use this command to get uh, or search a file on the remote computers and you can get the result into the uh, text format also if you give the command out file so let me give that okay out hyphen file and then the path okay 
so let me uh, breach path okay this one and yeah uh, let me give uh, output dot txt okay let me give into the comma okay so let me run this file now Okay, now here you can see the third computer is failed, but uh, it have taken the result for two computer because it is shut down as it is uh, the trial mode is going to be expired. It's already expired actually. Okay, so let me open this file for you and you can see here we have the uh, result for the one computer and the two computer and the exe file result is here. Okay, so you can use this file uh, according to your needs. You can just modify some little bit part of it and you can use it for yourself. If you have any doubt for this gate hyphen child item command, you can just put into the comment box and I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.